Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition on Legendary, i.e. the hardest difficulty. We haven't recorded an episode of this in a very, very, very long time. Uh, difficulty is Legendary, good. It's gonna probably be a little rusty. In fact, all the, all the episodes this week are gonna be rusty. You might say, why is that? Well, basically, I'm recording this episode right here at the start of a 24-hour stream on twitch.tv slash Grovana. We're going for 24 straight hours. Uh, right now we're in about 40 minutes. You can see the timer below. That's real time. So we've been streaming for 40 minutes. Uh, and basically we will be, yeah, recording all the episodes this week uh, live on Twitch. And we're going to be doing one of like each thing that we've got open right now. So you can expect a wide variety of Elder Scrolls and Fallout games coming out uh, this week. Um, and they're all going to be like an hour. Uh, unless they're a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. And what I think is going to be interesting is that you're going to see my energy change as we record. Uh, you know, in, in my opinion. I mean, I could be wrong. But basically, we're doing this one at the start. The next one will be somewhat into the 24-hour stream and yada, 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 until the fifth and final one will be near the end of the 24-hour stream where I will be dead like a zombie walking. So I think that's kind of interesting to watch. It's not maybe going to be all that entertaining and engaging because obviously my energy is going to be low or whatever. But uh, yeah, uh, we'll just see. Isn't that interesting? I don't know. So give the Twitch channel a follow if you want to be a part of future stuff like this and let's get right into it. I haven't played Grogon, Grow Balmog in quite a long time. And I'm already expending way too much energy for the start of a 24-hour stream. I need to calm the hell down. <laughs> I always make this mistake of putting, like, front-loading all my energy. And then we've got 24 effing hours to go. Anyways, it's been a while. Let's take a look at what we were doing. Touching the sky. I've encountered Gelibor, a snow elf knight paladin of the Chantry of Oriel. He's requesting I kill his brother, Arch Curate v Virther who's been corrupted by the Falmer. I've been given an initiate's ewer, which will ultimately provide me access to the Chantry's inner sanctum, where both Archcurate Virther and Oriel's bow are located. Survive Darkfall Passage, which I think we have done. Uh, we stopped right before this guy, and I need to uh, listen to his lore. I expected as much. Oh god, I haven't done Grogon's voice in so long, I just realized. <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> what, what is, what is the Chantry of Oriel? This is, or was, the epicenter of our religion. Most of the Snow Elf people worshipped Oriel. The Chantry was constructed near the beginning of the First Era to provide a retreat for those that wish to become enlightened. We're in Third Era, right? Sorry if we're in Fourth. I, I know Oblivion ended, and that was because the eras. This is something I picked up like this playthrough. The eras end on a on a big thing. I'll, I could check it a second. I forget if we're on Third or Fourth. I know, I know, I know. It's bad. <coughs> I never really play, paid that much attention to lore until like these playthroughs. Most Snow Elves. Our Empire had temples to some of the other deities. <coughs> Trinimac, Cirebane, Holy Frey, and Finister rounded out the rest. But those temples paled in comparison to the glory of the Chantry and its way shrines. This guy would know a lot about pale. <laughs> the Wage Shrines are part of the Chantry, then? Oh, yes. They were an important part of the process here. They represented the steps the Initiates took on the path to total enlightenment. Sadly, the magic used to construct these wonders were lost long before I arrived here. Okay. Skyrim's a nice little change of pace when you're doing something with a lot of lore in it, like Inquisi... kind of Inquisition. Um, Skyrim kind of, you go through the lore and stuff pretty quickly, so if you're in that sort of mood, which I kind of am right now because I'm very jittery and energetic because of the coffee, uh, it's good. I like, I like Skyrim's kind of, like, direct approach with, with the dialogue. Sometimes, sometimes. But you wanna, when you want a real rich experience, Skyrim's really not that sort of thing, I don't think. Who are the spectral prelates you mentioned? They're ghosts of the snow elf priests that tended the way shrines before being slaughtered by the betrayed. Through the grace of Oriel, they were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. Good. They should be able to help us. I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the inner sanctum. Very convenient. Who are your people? Ah, this voice is so rusty. Holy crap. We were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. 
That's crazy, because as far as I remember, Nords love elves, right? Don't they get along like peanut butter and jelly? It appears the Nords won. In a manner of speaking. We had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground dwelling dwarves. And when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. Did they do that before helping them? Because why would why would they do that? The the Dwemer? Uh, that part I don't know. I'm sure people in the chat know. Everyone that could everyone couldn't have possibly agreed to that. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves bargain. Why would they say that? That's what they needed to do to team up with them. What turned your people into the betrayed? I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin. Certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. Interesting. Why weren't the Snow Elves here affected? The Chanter is quite isolated, so it took some time for word of the Dwarves offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. Ah. Is that why you had retained your sight? Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. You mean the betrayed? Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assumed that the Arch Curate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the inner sanctum. And by betrayed, he means the Falmer, by the way. There are others here like you? Werther and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. Okay, thanks for the lore, Knight Paladin Gelibor. May Oriel keep you free from harm. And also you. Uh, one of the more interesting characters in Skyrim. Uh, well, this is the Dawn Guard DLC, by the way, for those that don't realize, because it's been a while since we've played. Questions. No, Next I'm day. good. Okay, so let's see. So we've got Touching the Sky Survive Darkfall Passage, which we have done, and now we're just heading through here. Portal to Darkfall Passage. Oh, we have not done. I thought this previous cave was Darkfall Passage. Can you tell that I haven't played this game in a while? Especially the Dawnguard DLC. Presence as I thought it would be. Kind of soothing, actually. I feel a little warmer now. Tell me about it. Now, hold on. I gotta jack up this volume, but Skyrim, for some reason, locks me into the volume. Doesn't let me change it. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, but I know we're doing a lot of talking, but before we move on, Serana, do you have anything new to say? What now? I guess not. Can I tell... Uh, shoot. So because she's in my party, what does she affect negatively? She does something I forget. Oh, it's the vampire lord form. So she bugs out. When Serana's traveling with you, she bugs out your vampire lord form, and then you're... Yeah! Oh god, I should have realized that. Okay. Oh my gosh, what the heck are we even gonna do? It's been a, it's been so long. I don't even know what we got. Bound sword in the right hand and conjure boatman in the left hand. Sounds good to me. Chores hunter fledgling. Here, let's do that. I said, <laughs> let's do that. Thank you. Let's do this. Okay, teamwork. That's the only way this is gonna work out. Ah, that's the old legendary I know and love. Not dealing anything at all to anything. <laughs> okay, one thing to check. Don't we have Yol? We ha we should have y Fire Breath or whatever the heck, right? Completed, I think. Fire Breath, yes. And why is that not favorited? Does it just not do anything at all? Because I need a I need a offensive shout. That's not one of the big boys. That's not Dragon Aspect, for instance. Yeah, that's good. That's good DPS. That ain't bad. Okay, this is going to be scary. So, we're on legendary difficulty, uh, which everybody should know, but in case you don't, is the hardest difficulty. And we're trying to level up Conjuration. And as you can see, nobody takes any damage at all. We take massive damage. Oh, my God. This is a really dumb... This is a really dumb... Dumb thing to have. Dumb set of weapons, dumb set of offense to have, basically, at this point in the DLC. But hopefully with her companions, with, uh, I still don't even have a set name for this guy. VD, that's his name. A lot of people have suggested a lot of really good names, but his name is VD, okay? Vitamin D. And yes, you can make an STD joke. Go for it. Sure, it's easy. I know. Go for it. But his name is VD, after vitamin D, okay? 
That's the name. Excuse me. Actually, I'm changing his name. His name is Calc. For calcium? Oh, man, man. I, my brain is wired right now thanks to that coffee. Dude, that coffee just went like a direct injection straight into my veins. I can't think. I can't think. I'm just going to slash at things. Okay, mindlessly. I'm going to slash at things mindlessly. I'm going to back up and use clothes wounds as well. Calcium is bones. Yes, calcium is bones. It's from milk. Holy, this is what happens, dude. This is what happens, dude, when you're just jacked on caffeine. It's just like, I, my brain is shooting off in 14,000 directions. Okay, so, bound, no. Bound, yes. Do this one. Conjure that. I'm working against myself now to, to focus. Ooh, Conjure in 60 is good. Okay, I need to get out of this cave, dude. There's way too much going on. It's incredibly dark. All right. Holy crap, I can't, I, I can't see anything. Okay, where's Conjure Boneman? There we go. Now, hold on, hold on. Do we have any perks? Tell me I do. Yes, we do. And I know for a fact we wanted to get Conjuration up to 60 for some reason. I forget exactly why that was. What the heck was it? What are we doing here? Adept Conjuration, Soul Stealer, Necroman- Necro- Necro- Necromancy! Holy sh- Put your brain in one straight line. I'm pretty sure I have ADHD, by the way. Atromancy, double duration for Conjured Atronax. That would be good if we could conjure an Atronax. Maybe it's a spell that I had that we needed 60 to get to that threshold to conjure something. Let's see. Bound Battle Axe. Crap. Why do I have Bound Bow? <sighs> like, all these favorites are confusing me, too. I'm going to take that off. Command Daedra. No. Conjure Ash Guardian. Level Expert. Is it one of these? Is that why? Conjure Familiar. Flame Thrall. Summons a Flame Atronach permanently, but it dies too fast. That's the problem. We need something we can conjure. Familiar sucks. Yeah. Familiar is too, too low level. Flaming Familiar, like, runs in and explodes. Reanimate corpse. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, maybe it was this? Conjure Ash Guardian? Oh, but it needs a freaking heart. Oh, my God. Why do I not have one silly conjuration thing? What did we need? 60? We needed 60 conjuration for something. I know that. What the heck was it? Novice Conjuration. Mystic Binding. Apprentice Conjuration. Adept Conjuration. Expert needs 75. I swear to God, we needed something... Bound weapons cast soul trap on targets. No. Wasn't this, was it? Bound weapons will banish summoned creatures and turn raised ones. Mm -mm. Wasn't that. Conjuration dual casting already have. Summoner needs 70. Ne Necromancy greater duration for reanimated undead. Atromancy double duration for conjured Atronax. Uh, what the heck was it, man? I, I don't know. Anyways, we'll just keep going with, with vitamin D. That's fine. Okay, what are we fighting in here? You? We do have our fire breath shot, but we're going to hold it for something a little bit better. Okay, excuse me. What a great passage, man. Everything is so congested. Okay, you, I'm going to uh, fire breath you as soon as you get rid of that. Here, I'm going to distract you with BD. And then... Yeah, that's not bad, DPS. Wow, I'm surprised how much damage that deals. Okay, just got to keep moving. Got to keep moving. I know this is going to have a terrible effect on the... On the bit rate, because there's probably a lot going on, and when that happens, the, the, the video has a hard time sort of rendering everything. This guy's not dealing much damage at all. Get, get the heck out of here. Jeez Louise. Okay, good job, everybody. Whew, let's save the game, because this, this tunnel is just bad. New save there. Let's also use close wounds. Close them wounds right on up. I swear we needed 60 for something. I, once we get to this next place, I need to go back and go to the College of Winterhold. That's probably what it was. I'm remembering now. It probably was because once you hit certain thresholds, people at the College of Winterhold sell you other spells. So we can go back and get, like, an actual conjure thing. And then if we get Atromancy, that conjured uh, Atronach, if we can get an Atronach spell, will stay twice as long. That's what it is. Guarantee. So... Let's make sure to do that. I gotta, I gotta remember to do that. Absolutely. And then in the meantime, Conjure Boneman again, and then Bound Sword. We'll just keep ranking up that Conjuration. Now, yes, we can just, of course... Also, why do I not have a quest activated? Survive Darkfall Passage. Okay, we're just figuring this out ourselves. Which is a rare occurrence for Skyrim, since it just points you to everywhere. Hello? VD, go! Already shouting way too much for this early in a 24-hour stream. Oh, man. Okay, there's our damage just completely falling off. Come on, VD. You and me. I have no idea where Serana is. There you go. Okay, come on, teamwork. This guy ain't doing nothing. This guy is just checked out. It's his last day on the job. He is just... Buddy, you okay? You want to talk about it at the very least? 
And he's just disillusioned. What a sad sight. Also legendary, by the way, in a nutshell right here. Of course, we don't have any one-handed one -handed perks, I don't think. But yeah. <laughs> just nothing takes any damage whatsoever. Okay, we're going to save again here. Good. Now. Hello. Okay, this would be a good room to use. This would be a good room to use. What the heck is it called? What the heck is it called, man? The, 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 the March for Death. There we go. But they have to kind of all get together here. Okay, perfect time. March for Death. But who's our enemies? Don't want to hit our boy VD. The others are perfectly fine. Okay, we got a triple there. Very nice. Let's go around and loot some stuff first. Potion of Prolonged Invisibility. Yes, sir. Draft to resist magic. Yes, sir. Filter resist magic. Yes, sir. Elixir of resist shock. Sure. Okay, let's save the game. I am not redoing any of this crap ever again. No siree, Bob. Okay, we're going to resummon VD. Our calc! GV, man. GV, man. You're scatterbrained, dude. Flat out scatterbrained. You can't, you can't focus on anything. Okay, sorry, Serana. Had to be done. Is there anything better we can use than this one-handed sword? Because really, the only thing we get out of it is summoning it once so that we can get some conjuration. Okay, let's see. Where do we got? Oh my god, there's so many enemies. Okay, we got we to gotta retreat here. Let's use closed wounds. And I think if there's any time to use dragon aspect, it's now. And I think the same goes for Berserker Rage. And then I think we grab Calc and we grab Bound Sword. We summon Calc once again. We summon Bound Sword. And now we deal a lot of damage. And I can't see a gosh darn thing. This game is so dark right now. Okay, where are you people at? They're hiding in the caves. You! You're bad. Okay, you're gonna get fire breathed. Oh, got two. There we go. Okay, we should be dealing a lot of damage now. That ain't a lot of damage. So that's fine. We'll work with it. I've been poisoned. That's fair. Light armor increased to 99. Oh, I forgot about light armor. That's good. Okay, watching my health. Watching my health. Watching my health. Okay, let's get back here. Use, uh, use close wounds. Excuse me. Bounce sword. All right, conjuration increasing too. Very... What the heck is even going on here, man? This was a bad episode to, like, not play for a while and get back into it. And I, we could just run through everything, but I'm going to have to kill everything because they'll just they'll just keep chasing me and then I'll die. The old Dark Souls 2 effect. Try to run through stuff. is going to get me killed. Get the heck on out of here. You are so tanky. My God. Get the heck on out of here. There we go. Okay, close wounds again. Okay, now we grab Calc in the left hand, Bounce Sword in the right. Who else do we got? We're gonna re Calc. Okay, where are you at? There you are. I'm surprised at how we're doing decently for legendary though. You know, they're not doing they're not doing too much damage to me. We haven't had it we haven't been close to dying. That's good. We ain't dealing any damage, but that'll change once we get some better conjuration. Yeah! There you go. Get the heck on out of here, boy. Okay, someone's back over there, but that's fine. If I can shout them off with Fusro Da, with unrelenting force, as it is also known. Okay, I'm surprised everything's working out because my brain is seriously, I, like, rapid firing thoughts at the moment. Okay, what do we got in the chest? That's trapped. Ebony ingot, flawless diamond, 19 gold, and a copper and sapphire circle. We're going to do a deft dodge to the left. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was like literally an inch away from my face. Okay, uh, let's see. Who's over? God, this cave sucks. Dude, if there's one thing, if there's one thing I do not like. It's it's just Falmer Caves, man. Okay, Falmer Skulker there. We're going to speed this process up a little bit with a good old marks for death. Which, it's been a while, so I can re-explain certain stuff. Marks for death, like, permanently decreases something's armor over time. So this guy will start to take more and more and more and more damage from us. So we do one power tag. You see, that's a good chunk for legendary. You've been poisoned. Oh boy, that was a big chunk of damage. Okay, get rid of this guy ASAP. Oh god. Okay. Okay, stop. Don't queue up another attack. Go over here and cast closed wounds. There you go. Do it. Nice. One more. Beautiful. 
Okay, get Calc in the left hand. Get Conjure Sword in the right hand. Summon Calc. There we are. Do that. Okay. Grab Soul Tear. Or, it's not Soul Tear. Marked for death. Okay, they're on the line, but I don't want to hit Calc. Got both of them. You can see the faint purple glow. Okay, good. How many are left? Just those two. Good. Okay, now we play the stealth game. Okay, we're going to resummon Calc. Get that much-needed conjuration leveling up. Okay, now they're going to be sitting on that mark for death. We're going to go, bam! Bam! Where's your health bar, buddy? I can't see your health bar, buddy. Oh, you will not. Oh, you will not. If this guy lands an attack, it's going to be bad news. Yes! Holy crap. Crap, I can't believe how much this is working out, dude. Like, seriously, after not playing this for a long time and after being so freaking caffeinated right now, I should be dying. And I'm not. Whew. The last thing I have to watch out for is getting turned around in a two-way room, which I do every single freaking time because my mind is not mindful of the path that I am taking. So hopefully we're going the right way here. Who's there? Oh, God, you know, dude. Oh, my God. This, this cave never ends. See, like, playing on Legendary Difficulty completely changes the nature of Skyrim entirely. Because, like, this room, normally I would come up to it in a normal playthrough and just go, ah, oh, whatever, okay. Now on Legendary, it's like, this is the worst thing you want to see. A giant room filled with Falmer, basically. Bad news. Bad news. I got hit by an arrow, but I didn't take any damage. Why did that happen? Okay, what do we do here? Um, let's dual cast Calc. Okay, Calc, get to it. What do we do here, man? This is gonna be bad. I need to use vampire form, but uh, Serana's glitching it out, like I said. We need to send Serana away. Uh, when we have Calc out, we can't use Arneal. So can't do that either. I guess we just look for an opportunity to cast Marked for Death. How many enemies do we have in here? Oh, God. We have five. It's pretty rough. Oh, but we have these guys in here, which we're not going to interact with at all. Okay, let's line them up. Got them both. We don't want to hit Serana because that'll be permanent. That'll be really, really bad. Okay, let's help out Calc here. Let's grab Fire Breath and let's grab Bound Sword. Okay, this guy should just be a lowly Falmer. I... Yeah, he's not stealing too much. Okay, back away. Got to be very careful. Close wounds. Restoration increased. Very nice. We're increasing everything. It's beautiful. Bound sword again. Conjuration increased. Very nice. Where's my sword? The heck? Huh? Okay. Invisible sword. Never seen that before. How about again? What, what do you say? Okay, there we go. More like it. All right, now these guys have been sitting on Mark for Death for a while, so let's go over here. <laughs> Look at my damage. Even the mightiest fall when you get Mark for Death. Oh, my God. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Holy crap. Let's see. Anybody over here? Just these chores, which we're going to leave. I can't see your HP. Okay, that's a little more damage than I'd like. Close wounds again. Very nice. Let's get Calc out here. Beautiful. Bound sword. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. These stupid chores can't get out of the can't get out of the pit. Okay, this guy should be the last. I don't know how much damage he has. Oh, how much health he has. There we okay. There. Okay, I am not dying to this guy. We're gonna we're gonna play passively here. Okay, where's he at? Right there? Get the heck out of here, bitch. Okay. Whoo! Keep those guys. We don't want to bother with those guys. Leave them alone. They're not hurting us. Calc, you do your thing if you want. I'm out of here, man. This place is stressful as all heck. Don't give me options now. Don't give me options now. All right, fine. I see that. I think I don't see that. I'm I ain't, get I ain't about to get clawed. Not going to happen. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, no thanks. I need to get the heck out of here. I think we need to go this way. Guys, good luck. I'm going to try to find the exit. I see you. Think I don't see you just because it's dark? No siree, Bob. Jumping over here. Hello, skeleton. Thanks for the six gold. Let's save the game, shall we? Boop, boop. Beautiful. All right, when does this end? <laughs> like, as fun as it is, when does this end? I don't remember this being this long at all. This is insane. 
This place sucks, man. It's just it's my worst nightmare. Like on legendary difficulty, a whole freaking thing filled with chorus. Just keep moving, Serana. Just keep moving. What is this? What is this now? <gasps> Wait, I see a claw. What is this? What is that? Activate rope release? I don't remember these things at all. Oh, the other one activates a claw. See that? I see you. Do it. Bro. Haha, <laughs> nice one. But I'm perceptive. What the hell? I don't remember this at all. What the hell is that? Veil Saber Cat. Oh my god, like a like a vague, like a 1% vague memory. Veil Saber I wow, I like okay. Alright, fair enough. Cow Save me. Dude, for a second I was like, wait a second, there's no Khajiit NPC in this, is there? Because if you didn't know, Khajiit can be like like tigers and or whatever, lion, whatever the heck they are. They can be like little tigers and panthers and stuff. They don't have to be like, you know, humanoid cat creatures. They can be actual like walking, talking cats and stuff. Okay, bound sword. Cow. What the heck am I getting stuck on? All right, Cal, can you do your thing? Is there another enemy past there? No. Okay. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. I am not dying here. I didn't save it. I'm going to try to not save. I'm going to try to hammer this one out. Please stop getting stuck. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay. You, you're going to get fire breathed if you just hold on for a split second. That does way more damage than I thought, man. Very nice. Okay. This thing is glitching the heck out. Yes! Okay. Where did he go? Where's his body, man? I wanted to loot it. It's just gone. Huh? He's just gone? Okay. Dude. What? Uh, wow. I'm not remembering any of this at all. I don't remember any sort of, like, Black Reach thing. Look at this. It's like a mini Black Reach down here. Holy crap. Okay. I see a man way over there. I think that's our goal. In the top left, it's over there. There's a man with a little thing. I think that's where we gotta go. So let's close our wounds. We've done quite a lot here. Bound Sword and Calc. Okay, let's save the game. I am not repeating this crap. No way, Jose. It's not happening. And then looks like, yeah, we just walk over there. There's definitely going to be some enemies. There's at least one on the map, but I don't see where they are. All right, let's go. Follow me. By the way, I want to say I really do appreciate y'all's help. Uh, normally, I don't roll with companions. Um, you know, on Legendary, it's obviously helpful because, again... A legendary companions deal the normal amount of damage, whereas you deal significantly reduced damage. So, it, you know, it's nice. Uh, it's unfortunate that Serana glitches out our vampire lord power, so we can't level that up completely. Because uh, we are still a vampire. Oh god, we're still a vampire. Yeah, we're at a very weird spot. We're trying to make Conjuration work, we're trying to make the vampire lord work, but we can't with Serana because she glitches it out. I don't remember these things either. Little Veil Deer. Very cool. It's almost like a mod. It feels like a mod. Yeah. Okay, let's make a save here, because we're going to need a thumbnail as well, and I don't know where we'll find one. Look at you guys. Where did who come from? Yeah, where's the enemy? Oh, it's another one of these things. Um, okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to set this guy on fire with fire breath, which, again, is just surpassing all... Wow. Hey, good job, guys. Thank you so much. Let's go this way. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I want to get the hell out of here. Yeah, this has been great. Uh, beautiful. Very cool that it, all this stuff has bioluminescence. I always, you know, that that's a neat thing in real life. Uh, as well as video games, I suppose. Veiled deer hide, which does glow. Venison, which is just normal venison. But, uh, no, let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, I'm kind of done <laughs> with the Falmer around every corner and with the uh, tigers jumping up and scratching at my eye sockets so great job everybody let's uh get addle i uh don't like this place don't like this place on any level fill the initiates you were zero out of five how's it going so remember the ghosts think that we're on the initiates path and they're going to open up the way shrines for us so we can't tell this ghost hey man we need, to, we need to find Oriel's bow and do all this. He's not going to listen. He thinks we're just, like, an initiate. So that's what we're trying to find five of these, basically. Welcome, initiate. This is the Way Shrine of Illumination. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel 
and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Probably could have worded that a little bit better. Yes! Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it light your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. Do it! Oh my god. Did I, um... You said receive his gift. I was assuming there was a buff? Something like May that? Ariel's brilliance illuminate your path. Oh, uh, okay. All right. That's... <laughs> Okay. Good. Good luck. Uh, have uh, good. 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 Good patrolling. You're not really patrol. May I can't. I, man, I can't think of anything. Let's just draw the water. Fill the initiates ewer. That's one. We got to do that four more times into the forgotten veil, which I thought upon starting this episode, I thought you go right to it. Your vampire blood boils in the sunlight. Yeah, that's not going to be good. I thought you go right to this. I completely forgot about it's that so place. Right out here. I don't know how you stand it. I'm right there with you. I'm a vampire too, remember? You uh you gave me your ultimate gift, the vampire lord thing. Yeah, so legendary has a way of making you remember areas that if you play on the normal or easier difficulties, you just completely forget. Legendary has a way of uh, you know, sort of making you re-experience it. So yeah, that whole cave completely out of my memory. I thought when you meet uh Gelibor, you go right to the Forgotten Vale, which is a really cool part of this game. So yeah, that place sucks, but we made it. First try, not too shabby. And uh, yeah, we're a vampire, which means let's take a look at our active effects. We, we got some bad ones. And this is going to be a wee bit scary. I'm going to have to find a way to grind out the rest of the vampire stuff. Forget how close we are, too. Weakness to fire. Vampiric blood gives you negative 50% weakness to fire, which is not good. If we go up against anything that deals fire damage to us, we're going to take massive damage because already mages are the worst thing we have to deal with in legendary so weakness to sunlight health magic and stamina do not recover while in sunlight and are reduced by 60 points oh that's right <laughs> that's the other thing fantastic yeah so we literally do not regenerate it basically means on legendary we have to travel at night but i want to see this place in the day because this place is freaking awesome as i'm sure we're about to see if it ever leads me to it because holy moly is it taking its sweet ass time I guess it's right up here, isn't it? Huh? 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 The Forgotten Veil. This is the part of the Dawnguard it's like, DLC. It's like a whole other world. That's what I'm saying. Do you want to do a duet of a whole new world? Yeah, I would say so, but it's quite massive. Yeah, this is the place I always forget about the Dawnguard DLC because for some reason the Dawnguard is just so bland to me. The DLC, I think it's because Solstein is like exactly what I wanted. So this DLC always stands out as, like, bland. But yeah, the Forgotten Veil is awesome, and it's huge. And there's a lot of, like, little secrets and stuff to find in it as well. Although, I guess we have to just take a look at the local map. It doesn't really show you in an overall map, does it? Any new dialogue? What now? It's ironic that we're helping these priests. Honestly, I don't think they care what a bunch of vampires would do with Ariel's bow. They're pretty focused on the past. As long as we can get this Verther out of the Sanctum, I think they'll be happy to just hand it over. Well, that works for me. Yeah, can we part wa l Like, listen, you're fantastic, but you bug me out. Not, not in, like, personally, I mean, like, you, bu you bug out my vampirism stuff, and I need to get that done. Um, first of all, I forget if I've traded anything with you. This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. N not at all. I don't think I've even traded anything with you, have I? No, so you've got, you've got a bunch of crap. Uh, we need to kind of part ways here. I know you're integral to the plot, but, uh, yeah. Again, you're bugging out my abilities, so... I disagree. Oh, come on. <laughs> Please! And go where? You can't just leave me alone whenever you feel like it. I'm coming with you, like it or not. <sighs> that's what I thought you'd say. Okay, well, let's keep going. So that sucks. That basically means we're gonna have to literally explore at night. Exclusively. Now... We found our way to the Forgotten Veil. This is where the rest of the Dawnguard DLC takes place. A lot of big stuff here. Please tell me I can leave and travel right back to it. What do you say? Uh, we need to go to the College of Winterhold to find ourselves an upgrade here. Please. Perfect. 
Okay, so if I remember right, reaching 60 Conjuration should let us unlock a whole new slew of spells, which will, in turn, help us level up Conjuration a lot faster. And what we could do is we could just cast Soul Trap on a dead body over and over and over again, but kind of don't want to do things that way this time around. Uh, who's the Conjuration guy? I'm forgetting. Divine smile on you, friend. Chazargo had expected to be named Archmage. Who is the Conjuration guy? Is it Finnis Gestor? It's one of the bald dudes, right? One of the creepy dudes. And I shouldn't say creepy just because they're bald, but they, they look like a wizened mage. They look like they would be into some bad stuff, maybe some necromancy, that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, what's up, Tolf, dear? Hello, Relina. Thank you. Appreciate that. On Mano. This is like the apprentice hall. We need to find the, uh, the big boy hall. Let's go over there. And please, God, tell me they will be able to offer me some stuff. Yeah, they're comfortable, but I don't know if they're helping me out too much. I'm uh, having a hard time being a mage. Being a mage is quite bizarre, to say the least. Okay, where are you at? Finnis Gestor or the other guy that I'm forgetting your name? Please be in here. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. Right, and by that you mean you're the conjuration guy, right? Yeah. Incident I actually forget. Was just a so you wish to master the arcane arts? Tell me he is conjurate. Perfect. Okay. So please tell me you have some better stuff for me here. Banish Daedra? No. Bound Battle Axe? No. Bound Bow? No. Bound Sword? No. Conjure Familiar? No. Here we go. Okay. Did he just not sell these before? It's baffling to me that these would be sold after 60. That's kind of crazy. 60 is so high for something like as... as, as easy as this anyways flame atronach is exactly what we need flame atronach frost atronach so this one i just don't know how much it's weird that the books don't tell you how much this is going to cost you um this one the value is higher so obviously more powerful for a frost atronach i don't know what would benefit us the most because i feel like flame atronach can probably deal more damage but frost atronachs are like more tanky and have more survivability Ray Zombie, Reanimate Corpse, Revenant, Reanimate a Power, Dead Bot, Powerful, right, and then Soul Trap. So there's, like, two sides to Conjuration. There's, like, Reanimation, Necromancy, which, by the way, hopefully in the Elder, in, uh, in the Elder Scrolls 6 will be its own tree. I feel like they could make Necromancy its own thing. I don't know if I'm in the minority wanting that, but I feel like Necromancy could be a new skill tree that could, like, make stuff really interesting, you know? I feel like that'd be cool. Anyways, we definitely want Frost Atronach, and we probably want Flame Atronach as well. Is there anything else that I would like here? Raise Zombie, Reanimate Corpse, Revenant, Soul Trap. Revenant? Yeah, I mean, oh man, our gold is so small now. Okay, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I, I please tell me I can cast this stuff. Please. So let's go to books that we've got. Conjure Flame Atronach. Summons a Flame Atronach for 60 seconds wherever the caster is pointing. Conjure Frost Atronach. Summons a Frost Atronach for 60 seconds wherever the caster is pointing. Revenant. Reanimate a powerful dead body to fight for you for 120 seconds. So that basically... The enemies that you kill that are on the ground, if they're like higher level, you know, with the names or whatever the ranks, like Falmer or Skulker or whatever the heck, you know, you'll be able to cast this on the higher level people, which obviously in turn will be very good because they deal normal damage uh, in Legendary when you deal significantly reduced damage. Sweet. Okay. Now, please God tell me I can cast this. Otherwise, we just made a huge mistake. <laughs> uh, let's see. Apprenticed and Adept. Yeah, that should work. That should work. Okay, so, Calc, you've really helped me a lot here, and I appreciate it, but you're also a bowman, and you kind of suck. So you're getting unfavorited. Nothing personal, although it is, kind of. Uh, we're going to go for a Frost Atronach now, and then let's level up as well. We have Conjuration, the only thing to add. So what are we up to? We're up to Experts. The next level is Expert, which is at 70, 75. Jeez Louise. They put that stuff really high. But here we have Atromancy. Double duration for Conjured Atronax. Yes, sir. And then Dark Souls is good, I remember. What's this? Reanimated Undead. No, that's not good at all. Conjured Atronax. Yeah, that's good. And then Twin Souls is amazing because you can have two uh, Conjured things at once. So that, that is what we're looking for. 100%. Okay. Thank you so much. Now. I need to take stock of what we've got in the quest list here. Because, again, the vampire thing's going to be awful. Touching the sky, fill the initiate's ewer. Talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. This is the main quest. Can we do the one thing just yet? 
Dark Brotherhood forever. Impatience of a saint. Put a fork in it. I need. I still need to remove this stuff. I still need to remove the saints and seducers stuff. Uh, find Rune's Edge. Speak to Rasad. Hey, a lot of this is saints and seducers. Just muddling up my stuff. That is bugged, because we already did the Arquin Point Wall. That's bugged, unfortunately. Uh, and a bunch of random stuff. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to do the Dark Brotherhood of... Uh, the Dark Brotherhood Forever. Just real quick. Let's go approach the Night Mother in Dawnstar. I want to test out... I want to I want to become a Vampire Lord and then see how much we've got left to do that. Because there are certain things we can do to level that up, and that would be fantastic to get the heck out of the way right off the bat. And I wonder, can I send Serana away? Is she just going to stay here until... Yo. Do you need something? Yeah, we need... You need to go. I disagree. So... <sighs> You're killing me, man! Woman! All right, fine. Well, we can't do that then. I guess we're just stuck with her until we do this. God, that sucks. <laughs> That's so... Because uh, then we just got to explore at nighttime. Oh, well. Yeah, there's... I kind of put myself into a real bad thing here, but it's okay. We're just going to have to heavy rely on Conjuration, basically. Is there any other way to buff up Conjuration in the meantime? I mean, obviously, like, you know, smithing and all that sort of stuff, we could really, like, level that stuff up and make some powerful stuff. But, if it's not necessary... Okay. Well, let's do this, then. I've encountered Gelibor, a snow elf knight paladin of the Chantry of Oriel. He's requesting I kill his brother, Arch Curate Verther, 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 who's been corrupted by the Falmer. I've been given an initiate's ewer, which will ultimately provide me access to the Chantry's inner sanctum, where both Arch Curate Verther and Oriel's bow are located. Fill the initiate's ewer. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're just going to have to travel at night, and we're going to have to, like, do this quest until Serana leaves. Because there's a lot of stuff to do here, but Serana's going to make it brutal. Uh, so let's wait a certain amount of time. I wanted to see if I could do another quest back in actual Skyrim as well, but... Nah, we just we got to get rid of Serana. That's, that's number one priority, get rid of Serana. So we'll just do the main quest. Uh, let's see, if we wait 24 hours, it'll be 5 a.m., 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. And let's wait 15 hours for it to be 8 o'clock p.m. And then we can not get absolutely decimated by some random thing that's going to spawn that has fire. I don't even know if that exists in the Forgotten Veil, but I got to play very safe. Because if something pops up that can hit me with a fire spell or something, I'm just going to get obliterated. And it's not going to feel good at all. Okay, so let's take a look at the local map. Where do we go? We have these... Yeah, we have four other places to go to here. You can see, it's kind of on the world map, but not really. So, I guess we'll just follow them and figure out where to go right off the bat. Let's save the game, shall we? Save the game over Darkfall Passage, but no, because that will be our thumbnail most likely. Now, if we take a look at the compass up there, some quest markers are going to move. They're all going to move, but I'm saying that one over there is the closest, so let's hold, let's hold over here. Eh, let's head over here. Also, Who's there... there? Ew. Okay, uh, man, that was a deft dodge. Conjure Frost Atronach, and we got to think of a name for him as well. What would it be? Our names are too dumb. They've always been too dumb. I need to be smarter with these names. Oh, and I can dual cast two, and we can dual cast it twice. All right, let's see how much damage he does. Yeah! Well, okay. I think it's mostly Serana. Yeah! Nice finish! What do we call this guy? If anyone's got a good name in the Twitch chat, feel free to let me know. Frosty Miss... <laughs> Frosty McFrostface. <laughs> Olaf, Yuki. Uh, I don't like thinking of names on the spot. Because then I come up with really dumb sun. names. What would be better than this? Kelvin? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good like the Kel the the wait, but is it Calvin? What's the scale? What's the what's the what's the what's the what's the I know I'm I'm listen, here in America it's Fahrenheit. Don't get on my case, okay? Everyone always gives Americans shit for everything. It's almost like that's what it is here, and we know that. And and uh, uh, 
I hate that. It's like people always give a shit for everything. It's like, we grew up doing pounds. I'm sorry, I don't know your weird European scales. We grew up here with a different thing. Anyways, is it Kelvin? It's Kelvin. The Kelvin scale. Right, alright, we're gonna call him Kelvin. That's a smart name. Credit to Robco, I think. Robco had it. Okay, that's his name. His name is Kelvin. I like that a lot. Kelvin. Okay. A little scared here. God, this is so weird playing like an orc berserker and then just passively. And then running away. But that's what we gotta do if we're gonna max out all these skills. The last bastion is magic. Which, again, is just rough, man. What the heck? Okay. Got to keep conjuring him, too, to get those conjuration points. And then we're going to play very, very passively. Let's put closed wounds in the left hand. I just don't know of a good way to... I don't know of a good... What is going on with Kelvin? He's, like, halfway through the fade or something. Get him! Wow, the damage is still trash, man. Yeah, we're gonna summon him again. And then I need, like, a good... What I need is a good destruction spell, but our destruction damage is absolute... Oh, yeah, ignite, duh. Ignite. Somebody said, like, oh, how lame you're using ignite. It's like a comment a long time ago. It's like, dude, what do you want me to do? You want me to use all my magic to cast Fire Rune and then basically do nothing and level up nothing? Forgotten Veil Cave. You know, like, I need to use something. Ignite is, is one of the great equalizers for Legendary. You know what I mean? Yeah, is it boring? Sure. Does it work? Yes. I don't know. How, the only thing is I don't know how much destruction it levels us up by. I don't know if it's a good spell to cast destruction with or not. I don't know if it's a good spell to level up destruction with is what I'm trying to say. Or not. But yeah, it's one of the great equalizers. We got to use it. I forgot about Ignite. Hell yeah. Okay, what's up? Here's one of the four. Hello. Welcome, Initiate. This is... Is the way shrine of sight. <laughs> We're just like, yeah. Are you prepared to oh, honor the see. mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Listen, I'm not going to make a joke. It's too easy, okay? Fill my vessel, whatever. I know what you're thinking, but I'm above that. Yes. Then behold, Please, Ariel's God, fill gift, my vessel. My child, may it speed your journey to the inner sanctum. Thanks, buddy. You raise it up. Could be a little bit faster on the animation. There's things about, but yeah, you know, I appreciate it nevertheless. Yeah, I forgot. Do you have to go? Because they they're portals. Portal to Darkfall. Pa oh, right, right, right. Okay, that's two out of five. We got three more to go. You can see one's in a cave or something. Or in a cave, anywhere, just out of this. I disagree. Do you not remember the last cave we went into? Do you need something? With uh, with uh, with Falmer around every corner, it was not it was not great. So this one goes back to Darkfall Cave. Yeah. So they're all they're all teleporters, and like I said, there's a lot of different stuff in the Forgotten Vale to clean up and do. A lot of stuff people don't even realize because they're, they're kind of just like unmarked. Uh, this will take us back to Darkfall, but I think it takes us to a different section of Darkfall, if I remember right. Right? Like something that we weren't able to access previously. Oh. Never mind. We're back here. May Ariel's brilliance illuminate your path. Right. Okay, we're back to the first one. Never mind. So then, yeah, it's opening up. See, each of these walls will become a teleporter. So this goes back to the start, and then this goes back to where? Portal to Shrine of Sight. Right. So this is the start of the Forgotten Veil, vale, and then this is the portal we just left. So that's a good way. That, that's one thing that I think in Adronox playthrough, for instance, I messed up, is that I didn't realize we want to use those way shrines to travel around, make it a little bit easier. Also, I was going to say, is that another one? Because there's a structure there, but I don't think so. Okay, let's take a look at the local map here, the world map. Fill the initiates you were. So we got three of these. One of them is inside somewhere. It looks like this one is the closest, which... How do I orient myself to that? Like there? Is that correct? Why does it say I'm looking downwards? I guess it just doesn't accurately tell us where we're looking on the world map. Okay, if I'm moving, the one on the right is moving the fastest, which means it's the closest. Yeah. And there's something coming up. How much time do we have left? Okay. We might be able to get to a big thing that I'm kind of worried about. One thing that I actually do remember. Can you believe it? Kind of worried about it, though. We should be fine. I mean, you know, always comes down to Mark for Death. 
If if when in doubt, mark when in doubt, just mark for death, and then you're fine, right? All good. <laughs> But I forget how early this is. I forget if you have to do a decent amount of exploring or not. But yeah, we're going to get these done ASAP, and we're going to look for that option to send Serana away ASAP. Uh. Hello? Uh, okay, let's try Ignite. I want to see how much damage Ignite does over time. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, and it doesn't really cost that much mana at all. Although this is a spider, and spiders are easily like the easiest thing to take out on Legendary. Spiders don't deal much damage at all. Okay, we'll hold off on... Here, let's set this correctly. I'm going to take a look if there's anything in my favorites that I want out of here. Bend will we need to get rid of dragons if we have to get rid of dragons. Berserker Rage obviously is amazing. Bounce Sword. Do we even want this? Now that we have Ignite, it does increase our Conjuration, but Bounce Sword basically does nothing. Like, the damage is so laughably bad. I think we get rid of Bound Sword. We gotta clean up this favorites menu. I got way too much stuff. Yeah, let's get rid of Bound Sword. I don't want it. No. We're going we're going full ignite now. Okay, what else do we have? Uh close wounds, absolutely necessary. Conjure Kelvin, absolutely necessary. Dragon aspect, absolutely necessary. Dragon rend, absolutely necessary. Fire breath? Yeah, good. Good for a small, short cooldown damaging thing. Fire Rune, good for uh, Secret of Arcana and just spamming that. Although I need to get better at it because I constantly try to... Sp I, I, I target, like, enemies and then it won't cast because it has to target a surface. Ignite's amazing. Mark for Death is amazing. Moore's Boon is amazing. Sheragor's Last Laugh, that's got to go too. And we got to store that as well. That has, that has, unfortunately... It's not really helpful anymore. Sorry. I love you. You did great things this playthrough. But yeah, no. not not much anymore. Uh, what else? Soul trap. To, no, what? No, no. Come on, we're, we're past that. No, sorry, Bob. No cheesing. Get the heck out of here. Nobody wants you. Uh, let's see. Summon Arniel Shade. Now that we can summon Kelvin, I mean, honestly, that's probably better. Although when we have the Twin Souls perk, that's gonna take a long time to get though. Uh, yeah, I would say. I would say Kelvin's probably better. You can only have one summon thing at one at one time. So let's get rid of let's get rid of Arniel as well. Sorry, buddy. Thanks. I mean you were very helpful too. Uh Arvac is good. Unrelenting Force is good. Vampire Lord is good and Whirlwind Sprint. Okay, good. That's cleaned up. Now, last thing. Let's make sure that Ignite's in the right hand and Conjure Kelvin's in the left. What are you talking what are you talking about? You still talk Oh my god. Okay, so here. Here's what we're going to do. Watch. This is one of my favorite things to do. We're going to go to Powers. We're going to go to Secret of Arcana. Spells cast cost no magic for 30 seconds. Boop. Then we're going to go to Fire Rune. And just double cast this over and over. But you have to hit the grab, see? In my destruction. How did I not get a destruction for that? It sucks, man. Oh, well. But very fun to cast, you know, to cast something for no cost over and over and over again. Something big, something explosive. Oh God, is it here? This is the kind of thing I've been wanting to see. Yeah, you keep saying. I know. It makes everything else worth it. Right? Do you like the Forgotten Veil or no? Because you keep saying you you like it, you hate it. What would you rate it? You know, over and over again. Is this the bad part? It's not the bad part. No, it's reminiscent of the bad part though. Okay, let's save the game because we can die at any second here. Okay, and then let's grab Ignite and Conjure Frost Atronic. There we go. All right, let's go grab at least one more Ewer Fill. I would like to get to the really cool thing. Oh, maybe this will maybe this will get to the really cool thing. But when I say really cool thing, I mean something like when I first experienced it, it was like, I was not expecting it in the slightest. So if you have not seen this or haven't done it in a long time, you're about to go as well. Hopefully. Maybe you just don't care. Maybe you're too cool for school and just don't give a give a lick. You know what I mean? Um, and also, uh, is there a thing over here? Oh, yeah, these guys. Huh. You're going to be my thumbnail. Hold on, buddy. Hi. What are you going to do about it? Huh? I could do the same thing. I could do the same thing. Uh, do I want to be lame? 
Nah, I'm not gonna be lame. Okay, we gotta kill this guy. Frost Giant. So it's a new type of giant. Alright, let's now we're gonna take a look at how much how much damage Ignite actually does. So over time this is stacking more and more and more. Very small at the start. But yeah, should be compounding interest. Compounding interest in terms of damage, you know what I mean? Also, where's Cal where's Kelvin? I just summoned him. What the heck? Can't see. Okay, how much damage is this guy doing now? Doesn't seem to be doing too much at all. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's not really dealing much. Uh, okay, let's speed this process up a little bit. Just gotta make sure not to hit Serana with that. Okay, we're gonna summon Kelvin again. You see our mana is regenerating a decent amount thanks to the Archmage robes. Holy crap, dude. All right, is this a little bit? Is this guy just mega strong? I feel like we should de be dealing more. Kelvin, what are you doing? Buddy, get your head in the game. What are you doing here? He is just bugged the hell out here for some reason. Dude, what is my destruction at? This is insane. Are you, are you kidding me? All those ignites and all those fire runes and it's not even halfway to level 53. Destruction's gonna be a freaking nightmare to level up, man. Yeah, I'm trying. You guys gotta help me out. All right, let's use Fire Breath. Man, this guy's just tanky. Calvin, if you wanna get in on this, any time, man. Any time, man. You gotta be more like Serana, dude. You know? Okay, whatever. All right, so we killed this Frost Dryden. What he's got should be... Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, the Sapphire Paragon. So this is one of my Skyrim's hidden treasures that did really well because this is a thing that just a lot of people do not know about. There's like five of these giants or something. I forget. I forget the specifics. But there's a certain amount of these giants, okay? And they each drop these, one of these Paragons, which looks freaking amazing in terms of Skyrim items. And then what you do with that, I, I'm vague on this. Actually, was there anything else to look at over here? I don't think so. Okay, what you do with those is there's these little uh, way shrines. Activate Paragon Socket. Does this one go to that? Ahaha! So you find one of these little way shrine things, and then you can activate this portal to Inner Sanctum. Now, this is what I was thinking about. So these offer you like five or four, it's either four or five, I think, little like hidden areas where you can get some specific stuff. So yeah, they're each like little. Uh, each like little secret areas basically. So where we are right now actually, we're in the ultimate goal. We're in the we're in we're in the inner sanctum, which is what we're trying to get to, but we need to fill the the ewers. So if there happened to be a way shrine leading to like the actual grand area, then we wouldn't even have to do all this crap. But anyways, we got three big old chests here. Thank you. What else do we have? Garnet, garnet, amethyst, garnet. We have to actually start making some money again because my money has been utterly decimated. I forget exactly why. What did we buy? Did we buy a house? Is that what it is? We bought something, I think, like 20,000 gold, which is ludicrous. Uh, filter of light fee, 20% harder to detect. Okay. Potion of, potion of alteration. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we got to make money. So we got to grab all these jewels and anything worth anything, basically. Elven helmet. No, thanks. But all this. Yes, yes, yes. Lots and lots and lots of jewels. Thank you. Elven Sword of Dread, sure. Oh my god, look at all these jewels. But again, the problem the problem is always just who do I even sell this to? Who? Without leveling up speech perks, uh, speech perks to get like better merchant stuff. Who do who? Who? You know? There should be something unique in here, no? Maybe it's just certain ones. I, I know in certain portals you do get unique things. Maybe this one just gives you that, and that's it. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to keep an eye out for the stuff that I'm thinking about. Uh, three chests, and then this is just crappy elven stuff. Okay, that's that. So that's one out of like four or five, like I said. So let's get out of here, and I think we can grab this again, can't we? Uh huh. Thank you. 
So yeah, gotta, that, that's one of the Forgotten Veil's little secrets. Which you need to keep an eye out for if you want to do everything. Okay, there's some really cool stuff coming up. We might do an episode of this somewhat soon, just because, yeah, the follow-up is going to be really neat. I want to show a cool, really cool thing. But that is going to be it. i got to pace myself today because we are doing a 24-hour stream. You can see we're an hour and 40 minutes into it. I scheduled this to end around two hours, so making good time with the intro and then with this live episode of Skyrim. So, yeah, a bunch of stuff to do. Another... They're unique, right? Okay, we'll do one more thing. Because honestly, like, killing these guys is going to be good if I spot them. Because then I don't have to search for them later on. There's two this close? I thought they were kind of really spread out everywhere. Okay, we'll get this guy too. But I'm not going to spend 20 years on it. We're going to mark him for death. Which again, if you don't know, kind of permanently decreases his armor over time. And then it basically goes negative to the point where he takes a ton of damage. And then we're going to summon our boy Kelvin. Get in there. No, no, no. And by the way, if you can't tell, this guy's basically just a reskin giant, almost like a mod. Like a modded giant, pretty much. Uh, ba -ba -ba, what do I want to do with you? Ignite is so bad. Man. But what if we dual cast it? We're just going to do this and do it a little experiment to see. Ah! really not dealing much damage, but I think it's because... No! Yeah. Yeah. Did I, uh... <laughs> did I... Did I go in here? Yeah. I, uh, so one thing that's funny is that, uh, if you ever watch my streams, um, anytime I ever say something, like, for instance, you know, oh, he doesn't really do much damage, you can bet your sweet ass I'm gonna be disproven immediately, uh, right afterwards. Anytime I'm even a modicum of cocky, which I wouldn't call that cockiness, you know, I'm just saying he doesn't really deal that much damage, uh, you can bet your ass... No matter what game we're playing, the gaming universe is going to find a way to bash me in the head or something exactly like what just happened there. <laughs> Let's give this another shot, and this time I'm going to save. All right. Howdy there. Just going to hit you with one of these. Thanks so much. Going to go ahead and summon my friend here. If you don't, if you don't mind. Uh, I want to see how much damage... I want to see how much damage this does, man, but... Yeah, he, he is killing Kelvin pretty quick. Okay, I just don't want to miss. As far as I know, this should be basically working the same as Mark for Death. Where slowly but surely, our damage will climb to the insane. Right? But... It's not really doing that much. Even with, like, a million ignites. Okay, do we have any mana potions? I'm gonna need to save it, though, because as you can tell, this is somewhat tricky. No man, None. Oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to go back and sell this stuff and get some potions. Yeah. And I guess I still do need Bounce Sword, because I have no way to dealing damage to this guy now. Let's use fire breath. God, this guy is tanky. You want tanky ass boy. Let's also take a look at the uh let's take a look at the uh destruction progress too. Okay, great job, Serana. What do you got? Ebony armor, Alvin Shield, Orcish Dagger, Amethyst Paragon. Uh-huh. Flawless Garnet, Giant's Toe, 265 gold, and that's about it. So yeah. Surprised there are two so close to each other. I don't know where this guy's Paragon Shrine is. That's the other thing. You have to find the shrines because the other guy was right next to it. But this guy, like, where is it? I don't know. Either way, let's take a look at the destruction level. Dude, that's disgusting. What the hell? Ugh. Destruction. Why are you so why are you so bad to level up, man? You shouldn't be that bad. Oh, well. 
Okay, that's where we end the episode, folks. Uh, lots and lots and lots of stuff to do in the Forgotten Vale, as you can tell. And it's going to be tricky. We, we have to find a balance here. I don't know how we're going to do it, because our damage is at an all-time low right now. But we'll figure out a way. Nevertheless, like I said, recording all these live episodes during the 24-hour stream on February 6th. So... Uh, you will be seeing as I wane in energy over time because we'll be spreading these out over 24, uh, 24 hours. Five different live recorded episodes. So yeah, enjoy those. Hopefully they're good even though they're going to be significantly waning in energy over time. Nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. Thanks to the people on Twitch for watching and I will see you all in the next episode of Grogon's Adventures. Bye-bye. <gasps>